So we have got ourselves an update in the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. As you can see right here, James Filan shared SEC v Ripple. The judge has set this schedule regarding remedies discovery and briefing, which basically means that besides any official settlement, we've now got the dates. That means we know everything that's about to happen with the exact dates on top of it. So guys, if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos, make sure you go ahead and press that like button and let's dive right in by talking about these dates and me explaining what I'm expecting. As a baseline, guys, I'm extremely bullish on XRP, uh, but we'll cover that a little bit later. A couple of thoughts I've got, I'll share with you as we move on with the video. First of all, the court has reviewed the party's letter dated November 9th. Uh, accordingly, by February 12th, the party shall complete remedies related discovery. By March 13th, the plaintiff shall file its brief with respect to remedies. By April 12th, defendant shall file its opposition. And by April 29th, the plaintiff shall file its reply. Plaintiff being the SEC, defendant being Ripple. And if you're wondering, this whole discussion is part one, all right? Uh, sentence number one is what exactly they can dive into from the opposite side. All right, remedies is generally speaking, just how much does Ripple have to pay? How much is owed? How how hefty was their their troubles, I guess. And the discovery for that is again, looking into the other person's files for the most part and just finding out things. So then this brief here with respect to remedies is just a month after all the research is done, uh, halfway throughout February, the SEC has to file exactly what they expect Ripple to pay. Then a month later, Ripple has to explain back what they think they should pay, or at least why they don't think they should pay it, something along those lines. And then two weeks later, the SEC again responds, and afterwards, the judge makes her decision. All the while, the judge, the SEC, Ripple, could still say a lot of things. A lot of things could happen in the meantime. But Fred says this timeline means no chance an appeal would be issued before mid-2026 by the Second Circuit. The July 13, 2023 ruling by the judge will be ironclad for a very long time. And this is because the appeal that people were weary of, you know, the SEC coming back on their words is going to happen after this. Now, some people are happy that there's no closure for another couple of years, because again, this means if the SEC wants to step back, sorry, jab back, it's going to be hard for them. It's going to take another couple of years. On the opposite side, some people have said this is bad because again, no closure. We want a settlement. We want this to be done. We want this to be over. But that would basically mean the SEC gives up. And we all know, following all their Ethereum debacles, that giving up is not really their thing. They like to uh, beat around the bush, do crazy things over and over. And in that respect, even the Ripple CEO shared this on the US's SEC's approach to crypto. One of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Garlinghouse questioned the SEC's commitment to its mission of protecting investors, suggesting that the agency's actions have deviated from its core objective. He pondered over whom the SEC is actually safeguarding through its regulatory endeavors. Quote, I think the SEC, in my opinion, has lost sight of their mission to protect investors. And the question is, who are they protecting in this journey? And as they start discussing exactly what fine Ripple should pay, I sometimes wonder, why exactly are they paying a fine? Who exactly was hurt in this debacle? Because at the end of the day, you could argue that the only ones really hurt in all this were not the institutions, were not the SEC, was not Ripple, it was XRP holders, only because of the SEC's complaint. Yet, if the SEC now wins and Ripple has to pay up, that money goes back into treasury, so to speak. It does not go to victims, in this case, XRP holders. Matter of fact, they see zero dollars for all these endeavors, for all these hardships. And so a question could be asked, what exactly do they gain here, except for indeed punishing Ripple, but who wins? Because even the SEC, yeah, they're adding to their war chest, but they have basically got infinite money anyway. So who exactly wins? The only answer is the SEC. But who loses? Everybody else. <laughs> Talking about winning or losing, many people ask me every single day, Dusty, what's your price prediction on XRP? I will tell you this. Just sometimes I got to get these things out there, right? My honest... Oh, hey, we got we to gotta, we gotta fly. Oh, we have no more fly. <clears throat> anyway, 
like I was trying to say, every now and then I got to keep you guys in a loop. And I will tell you this, I do not claim to have any authority. I do not claim to be a financial advisor. All I'm doing here is giving you my thoughts on what I think a reasonable expectation is. And that basically means if you've got no idea all on your own, what am I basing my own opinion on? That, that's what I'm explaining here. So by no means is this the most accurate. By no means will this for sure happen. And by no means is your theory invalid because I've seen so many different ones. And I even will quote you one right here. Analyst says XRP is undergoing a Lollapalooza effect, predicts 13 and a half thousand percent rally to 90 bucks. And I'll always tell you, I think the majority of these people are only saying this for clicks. They do not think this is the truth or they cannot really comprehend finance properly. These guys are just throwing some numbers out there, but I don't think that benefits you. I can make a video every single day saying, here's why it's going to a thousand, two thousand dollars, seven thousand dollars, because it could. The simple answer is it always could. But the question that pops up is what has the highest probability of happening at what point? And what can we say with a high certainty? So what I mean with that is I could tell you now, five different reasons why it could go to $10,000. That does not mean that's the most likely path for the near future, but I could tell you reasons as to why. And now I get back to my original point, which is what do I think is going to happen then? I keep telling you, I think as a baseline, I'm expecting about $25 per XRP uh, summer 2025. That is based on the fact that XRP went to about $3 2017. Bitcoin went to 20. 2021, Bitcoin went about three and a half X. So from 20,000 to 70,000, XRP should have gone to 10, $12 at that point, if not a little bit more, but I'm basing that upon Ethereum as well, which also went from, I think 1400 to about 5K. So also about a three X, let's call it. Now, if XRP went about three X then to, let's say 10, $12, I think Bitcoin this run is going to at least double again, their all time high, all coins respectively will move a little bit more, meaning Bitcoin going from 70 to about 150K, Let's just say that. And then XRP going from the value it should have had if it wasn't suppressed, $10, $12. Again, doubling a little bit more, 20 through $24, something like that. I think that's the most logical path with the most amount of common sense. And that's the one I follow. Um, I will say again that there are a lot of deviations from that plan. One could say, well, XRP got to this value because of hype. This time around, this run around, it's got more fundamentals, or it's actually the first properly regulated crypto besides Bitcoin. So it should go even higher and higher. I'll tell you, yeah, it could, but I would be very happy with my own prediction being correct, because that would still mean we'd go from 65 cents to $25. I'd be very happy with that. Again, I'm not too greedy. And I will say to you once more, for the most gains, you shouldn't be looking at this top 100 anyway. Let's be serious here. If you really want to turn $10 into 10 million, I know that's not going to be most people. I'm just saying if it's not going to happen with one of these, unless you're very extremely heavily leveraged and you're just a master trader, um, it can happen to some people, but the majority won't. The majority of people that are watching these videos that will make crazy amounts of money are going to be made lower rankings. You know, at, at crazy cryptos that are not even on coin market cap, only on Dex tools, for example, that you will only find on Twitter, that you'll only find on Discord for the most part. And yeah, I, I think if you're banking everything on a top 10 crypto, you've got to understand that it's possible, but it's so much harder. I'd say these, right, the top of the top are more for the people that already have a good chunk of money or who have a very low risk tolerance, meaning they do not like losing money at all. They just wanna do well with a very low amount of risk. But again, if you're looking for that 10,000 X, why not look for a coin that has more risk, but also more potential? Or then in that case, like I always do, and I always say, look for 10 of those coins, most will fail, but some will succeed in a bull market, especially. A lot of them just succeed. A lot of them just do well. And leave XRP and coins like that for the people that want those, again, not officially, but almost guaranteed gains, but a slower path. And there are outliers and there are possibilities. I keep telling you, those $90 predictions, those $65, $200, it is possible. There, there are paths towards it, but it's harder to fathom, harder to predict. And I am not buying it for that reason right now. That does not mean it won't happen. It just means that my own personal expectations here are what I'm basing my investment decisions on. And if you personally think, Dusty, you're stupid, it's going to go to $200 in the next three months, that's fine.
I just personally think that I should give my explanation and my reasoning, my thoughts to the people watching in case they wanted to know, because that's what I'm basing my investment decisions on. And again, it happens the same every single cycle. People go too crazy on the FOMO. People go too crazy on the hype and they have too high of an expectation for too short of a term, meaning they expect everything to happen in one run and they expect the gains to continue. It's going to correct at some point. Again, if we really get to $25, I'll throw one of the craziest parties you've ever seen. And if you wouldn't be extremely happy at $25 per XRP, you're either not invested enough or generally speaking, you just want more and more and more and are just not satisfied easily, which is also fine. But then my best, I guess, rebuttal to that is if you've got more, <laughs> yeah, it's the truth. If you've got more leverage, then again, even that solves the problem. People, and this you got to understand carefully as well. People are making hundreds of millions of dollars as the XP price goes up five cents, 10 cents. If the price goes from, you know, a couple cents here, let's say 50 cents, whatever it was just now, to $25, and you're not throwing a freaking fit in the air, you're not throwing punches at your wall of how happy you are while your money has 50 timed, right? Your money is now 50 times worth as much as before, then I don't think you're playing the investment game properly. If you could be happier, if it went times a thousand, eh, you'd be like anybody else. But if you wouldn't be happy with 50X, wow, damn, then you're spoiled, man. And then all I can say is go for something riskier. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. If you want more than 50X to return with a very high guarantee, you got to spread your investments. You got to go on the risk side. My own thoughts, right? So please don't add all the value in the world to it because at the end of the day, it can happen. You know, many bull runs have surprised me. Many, many coins have surprised me. Uh, it could be that this run, it actually goes to $74, $39, but it's not what I'm banking on. I'm banking on my own expectation, like I just said, but I'd be happy to be positively surprised. So yeah, let me know down below what you think the price is gonna get to. And perhaps if you have the time, write down why you think so. Or if you disagree with me here, if you don't think my explanation is logical, write down below why not. I read every single comment, so don't worry. It's not like I'm gonna just skibble over it. I'm gonna read it fully through. I read every single comment every single day, and I'd be happy to hear some of you guys' thoughts and stories. Please don't make it too personal. You don't want these people on the internet to know everything about you. Uh, I'm just asking for some thoughts. As I said a thousand times before, it's always worth considering what other people are thinking to make sure your investment thesis holds up even after these attacks, perhaps from the outside. And please consider for yourself also, if you give a price prediction right now, if you give your thoughts, because I don't like to predict price, I sometimes like to give my thoughts on what's gonna happen just to give people an indication. But I know as well, I'm not a fortune teller. But as I said, think for yourself also, how strong is your confidence that what you think is gonna happen will actually happen percentage wise, right? What do you think the probability is that you are correct? And whatever somebody else says, they're gonna be more wrong than you are. Just get that in the back of your head for a second. Just think it through. How accurate do you think you are in comparison to everybody else? If your idea is you know, even outlandish at that, how do you get to that point? How do you calculate that number? What do you base it on? Is it not just based on somebody else's thesis? Is it really your own? Are you not just copying somebody else? Did you think of it on yourself? Do you really believe in yourself? Do you believe somebody else? This is authority, so to speak. Anyway, if you thought that all through, let me know down below. I'd be happy to take a look.